Each year we welcome thousands of nonprofits to the Nonprofit Technology Conference. This year, the 12 NTC will be held in San Francisco on April 3rd through the 5th. Learn more at n10.org forward slash NTC. All right, and we are back. So here we are. We're about to have uh, ice cream and coffee, apparently, in the room behind us. But I am here with Janet, Erin, and Vanessa, who are going to talk fundraising. Thank you, Maddie. Uh, my name is Aaron Foss. This is my fourth NTC, I think. Uh, I first came when I was involved in Salesforce and nonprofits, and now I'm with Help Attack, which is a social media fundraising platform uh, for raising money on Twitter and Facebook. My name is Vanessa Swesnick, and I'm also with Help Attack. This is my first NTC, and I'm so pumped to see what everybody's talking about, what the new hot topics are, um, hear everybody's grievances, and see the collaboration of, of fixing them. I'm Janet Fouts, and I'm a social media coach for Tattoo Digital Media. I work with a lot of different nonprofits and for profits working around social media and SEO, that kind of thing. This is my third and uh, this is my third NTC. You know, if you're not here, you really got to make it next year because it's fabulous. The energy around here is so great, and there's so many people doing really great stuff that you know you may get some of it online, but you got to come next year. Um, so I'm going to pass the mic to Vanessa, who is just in the uh, NTC Trends session, talking about BlackBaud and N10's new report about um, just giving trends online, giving trends and stuff like that. Yeah, so um, working with Help Attack, we do the social media fundraising. So I'm always interested in learning about online fundraising in general with the subtopic of uh, social media fundraising. So I was just in a session that worked uh, entirely with you know the top five trends in fundraising, online fundraising, um, and a lot of it was actually just getting in nitty gritty to the 2012 BlackBaud Annual Giving Report. Uh, you can find that online. Uh, you can also check out the Netwits blog uh, to look at the BlackBaud reports. Anyway, this whole presentation helped me because there were a lot of slides with graphs and charts that really reading those things is kind of hard for me. So it was awesome to have an expert kind of talk us through. Um, so a lot of things we have to agree to disagree on, uh, you know, like is direct mail dead? Uh, is online fundraising the only thing that we're going to concentrate on? So there's still a lot of um, different strokes for different folks in that regard. But what we can all agree in agree on is that the single channel fundraising is dead. Uh, so it's been really interesting to learn about how to have a multi-channel approach, how to align all channels, not just fundraising, but also marketing and communications um, to implement all of the best practices in fundraising. You know, the five eyes all the way from just getting to know who your next donor will be and then engaging them and, and moving from up the ladder of engagement. Um, let's see, another reason in general that I like being here at NTC is that, you know, we're all isolated sometimes in our, in our offices, sometimes we're the only person in our nonprofit that's interested in technology. Well, here we get to co convene and kind of discover what everybody's thinking about. Uh, we have our finger on the pulse of, of what's going on. Um, and what people are interested in, the new trends, what doesn't work, what does work, and we can compare notes. Um, one of the sessions the other day turned into a complete impromptu uh, question and answer. We had just someone stand up, be a group moderator, and what we ended up doing is everybody took turns saying what their challenge was. Then everybody else in the room took turns giving their, their thoughts on how to solve that challenge, and it turned into this beautiful, uh, inspired, passionate uh, group, group think that answered these questions of people who otherwise would just be alone in their office somewhere, at, you know, in the huge United States trying to figure it out on their own. 
That, that's a great point. Um, one thing that was great about that session is that similar nonprofits were able to find one another. I think it's difficult to find data that makes sense for a small theater organization and a large disaster organization. Uh, very different conver uh, conversion rates, very different response rates, different community sizes. Um, and so I think what you can do from afar is go on GuideStar, go on Charity Navigator, um, you know, go on these sites where you can search for organizations like your own start making friends with them, go on their website, steal their ideas, send them some of your ideas. Um, that's really how it happens because, uh, you know, the organizations that are most similar to yours will be the most able to help you and, and give you good tips. So. I think that's one of the things that I really like about NTC is that there is a lot of collaboration going on. There's a lot of collaboration going on behind us right now when they're having ice cream. The networking's really cool. And you get to meet other organizations that are at the same level that you are. Um, one of the sessions that I really liked was the data visualization session, which was really, you know, yeah, multi-channel marketing is where it's at if you want to raise money. And you get a lot of data, but what are you going to do with the data? Are you going to process it? Are you going to turn it into pretty charts? How can you make that a marketing tool that you can use then to raise money? Because you really, that's the bottom line with fundraising, right? But is direct mail dead? I'm here to say yes, direct mail is dead. I don't open it. I get it. I delete it. I don't read it. There's a lot of people like me that don't read it. So you have to have other channels operating too, so you can actually reach a lot of people in whatever media they really like to speak in. It may not be your favorite. I don't like direct mail, but I still send it. So there's that. I think talking about a lot of channels, you don't really have to be on each one. Uh, you know, everybody's talking about Pinterest and making jokes about it, this NTC, because it's, you know, sort of overblown there for a little while. But um, you really should understand what networks are the best for you. Maybe if you're a uh, pro bono accounting organization or legal organization, maybe you should be on LinkedIn instead of Twitter. Um, maybe you should start on Facebook instead of Twitter. And, and asking those questions and asking your community where they're listening is, uh, is a really great step. Um, I was just in the... Uh, NTC Data Rocks session, and so the tweets on that hashtag should be pretty fresh, NTC Data Rocks, uh, or 12 NTC Data Rocks, rather, and uh, they're talking about how to, I think, become a little more uh, rigorous about bringing in social media data. So uh, with a Facebook ID or with an email address, retrieving and doing social append, it's called, to get the other data points there, connecting that with your house file connecting that with Convio or Blackbot or Salesforce or wherever you have your main donor database so that you can get a full 360 picture of a supporter. Are they on Twitter? Did they give more than $500 last year? Um, did they come to our event? And really making sure you're making the right next step with them, um, you know, having that social media information. And we're really lucky that we can get that data now. We couldn't always get it. Even Facebook is giving us a lot better data now. So we're actually getting a lot more interesting stuff, you know, a lot more data that you can actually use. Um, some of it still is a little thrown off, like maybe Facebook reach, but I'm not going to go there now. <laughs> so uh, along the lines of, um, you know, taking... So the best practices in fundraising are still in full effect. It's just trying to, to figure out how to use those and apply those to the new venue, which is the online fundraising or social media fundraising. That's another kind of common thread in the sessions that I've been attending. Earlier today, I went to one, um, it, it was entitled The Science of Giving, and the hashtag from that was hashtag 12 NTC hearts, uh, like a beating heart, uh, because we wanted to find out how to reach the hearts of donors and potential donors. Uh, there was a lot of discussion on, you know, where do you draw the line between manipulating somebody into donating if you're going to show, you know, a terrible statistic that shows the problem and then a starving child and it just makes you feel terrible. Is that really the, what you want to do or, you know, is there another step to it? And a big aha for me in that, um, in that session was to then, po of course, show the problem, um, you know, show the urgency, but then don't forget to make, make it a full story. Tell how the story ended. Uh, let the donor know what their donation empowered the organization to do. Show the child who received the lunch. Um, show that the world is a little sunnier because of the, the donor's participation. And, you know, sometimes when I'm talking to our clients about the importance of storytelling and, and making it a face-to-face, -face personalized ask, I forget to say that. You know, tell the person, tell the donor how they've made the positive impact. And that really drove it home for me 
this morning during that session. That's a great point. So not only thanking them, but being specific about how they helped, so they'll be more willing to next time. Yeah. Um, one thing, uh, a little bit off topic, but uh, I, I've really been excited about hearing people talking about supporters rather than donors, talking about supporter management systems and supporter databases rather than donor management systems or volunteer management systems. Because just as people are moving from channel to channel, and they might come in through an email, sign up at your event, but then they get the first email, they delete it, and then open up your Facebook tab and like you there, because that's where they want to be. So people are switching from channel to channel, and they're also finding different ways to interact with your organization. If you're only leading them towards a donation, you might miss out on a great volunteer. You might miss out on a great potential board member sometime later. You might miss out on a great media partner or a contact there. So be open and flexible at how people can um, sort of self-identify and, and what they want to do. And that's where social comes back in, of course, is because you can tell the stories. You can tell the success stories. You can tell the stories of need. You can tell the stories about the volunteers and the people that are being evangelists for the cause. So you can really get a lot of that information out there and share it through these multiple channels so that people really feel like they're doing something that makes a difference, that they're really connecting. And then you leverage those stories. They tell their network. They tell their network. And things really spread really quickly. My nerd notes. Um, if you come next year, bring lots of things to take notes with. Uh, don't be afraid to do live tweets during the sessions for everybody else who's still at home. Um, <laughs> my, my batteries are all dead today, so uh, I definitely need the paper notebook. Um, and I don't know how much time we have left, but I did want to say, if you're at home, uh, check out the 501 Tech Club in your city. Go to the Salesforce nonprofit meetup in your city. Um, there's a lot of more local and regional events where you can meet a lot of awesome folks and have a lot of the same discussions that we're having here in San Francisco. So, yeah, that's a great point. I'm really excited, you know, to be making the connections here, of course, and sitting in on the sessions and hearing like the rock stars of my world, people who I follow on on Twitter, and I just I get a kick out of their posts, and then oh my gosh, there he is in person. Um, but I'm also looking forward to um, post-NTC uh, and all the connections that we've made here. I'm really looking forward to growing them later, offline, in person, in Seattle, where I live, um, and, and kind of connecting the dots and letting the energy flow afterwards, too. Um, it's one of the, uh, the more valuable things for me. Like I said, sometimes I'm just alone in the office. And uh, I think I'm the only one who has this headache. Or can you? Yeah. Again. We're, you're done. Right. We've all seen your viral video. Yeah. Come on, guys. Come on, we're on. What, who put it in charge? Hey, I'm sorry. Sorry. In charge. This is not a fundraising conference. Get out of here. Oh, Come on. Come on. Go back to AFP, y'all. Go back to AFP.